What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Fantastic Effects Fridays. My name is Jacob Scott. Thank you so much for stopping by. And this week, we're going to be talking about how to make this cool glitch effect. Now, this effect's really cool because you can not only use it on text, you can also use it to glitch out pretty much anything. So it's a really versatile effect. You can use it in all types of videos. So let's jump right into this tutorial. Let's go. All right, so starting off a little disclaimer, this is pretty much a combination of two effects that I did learn that I'm just combining together. So if it does seem similar to some other things, it's because uh, it could very well possibly be the effect that I learned and I'm just combining two together. Now, starting off, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need this base layer footage, whatever it is you want to glitch. And what we're gonna do is we're going to control D this because we're gonna need a second layer that we can key out. Now, we can turn off this bottom layer, and as you can see, we still got this top layer here. I'm gonna search for uh, Luma Key. Now, this may not work on whatever footage you have, but seeing that this is a fairly bright box and a fairly dark environment, we're gonna just try and key out most of this. So we're gonna key out darker and bring up threshold. Just about there. I know we're not gonna be able to get all of it out, so what we're gonna do now, and what you may have to do with all your footage, is mask it. So seeing that this is just gonna make masking a little bit easier and it doesn't have to be perfect seeing it is glitching it honestly does not have to be perfect that's pretty close now what we're gonna do with this mask is we're gonna take this mask and we're just gonna turn on the keyframes for mask path move this to the end here and adjust that now, of course, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be glitching. So, I'm just going to go through the keyframes here and move it around. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, good enough for dem demonstration purposes, of course. All right, so now that we got that keyed, we can turn on our bottom layer again. And what we're going to need to do now is create a new solid. Now, with this solid here, just make it any color you want and drop it all the way to the bottom. And then we're gonna search for practical noise. I'm gonna use this one, not the VR, and drop it onto that solid. Now let's turn off this, these layers so we can see what's going on. With the practical noise, what we're gonna do is change practical type to dynamic and turn it to block the noise type. Now what we're gonna do with this is basically we're gonna map this to our masked out footage. So this is gonna actually gonna be what makes the glitch effect. So with this, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change complexity all the way to zero. And we're gonna go to transform here, turn off uniform scaling and scale the width way up. And honestly, you don't have to scale the width way up. You can leave it here and keep it the smaller sort of block glitch effect. But what we're gonna do, is we're gonna scale this width and scale the height down. Now that that's done, what we have to do is we have to make it so this actually moves. So we're gonna go to the first frame here and we're gonna turn evolution on. So it's gonna be at zero right now and go to the very last frame and turn it all the way to, let's say 100. So as you can see, every frame this is gonna be moving. Now that's what we want. All right, so now we can turn our other layers back on. What we're gonna need now is displacement map. So like I said, we're gonna map that to our masked out layer. So we're dropping displacement map right onto our masked out layer. And as you can see in the beginning, it sort of makes it sort of makes it a little weird looking. What we're gonna do with this displacement map is we're going to change the source to that black solid. So the source is gonna be that practical noise that we made and turn the effects uh, this, from source to effects and mask. And you'll see immediately it actually starts making it so it glitches out. Now it doesn't quite look that great yet. So what we're gonna do is we are going to just adjust the displacement a little bit, horizontal and vertical. Uh, you can just pretty much feel free to mess around with that too. Uh, maybe you don't want it so glitchy. Maybe you want it even more glitchy. You can take it this crazy, glitch it way out. But then of course you can see the box underneath so if we keep it tight enough, you can't really see the box underneath. And it, I think that's pretty clean looking glitch. So now pretty much from here, what you would do is you would just 
cut this for three frames or so, however long you want it to last, and get rid of that there. So as you can see, it glitches out like that. All right, so you could stop here, but this is where I sort of combine two effects. What we're gonna do now is we're going to duplicate this layer three more times. So we're gonna name this bottom one. We're just gonna call this base. This is gonna be our base layer. And we're gonna rename this one red. Rename this one green. And rename this one blue. All right, so now what we're gonna do is grab over in the effects panel, we're gonna grab set channels and drop that onto the green, blue, and red layers. We don't want it on the base layer though. Okay, so now that it's on those layers, what we're gonna do for the blue layer is in the set channels, we're gonna turn off red, the red channel, and we're gonna turn off the green channel. Now in the green layer, we're gonna turn off the red channel and turn off the blue channel and sort of get the idea of this. In the red channel, we're gonna turn off the green and we are gonna turn off the blue. Now, as you can see, my box here all of a sudden turns blue because that's the top layer. So we're gonna have to change the blending modes of these, all three of these layers to screen. Go to this one, change the blending mode here, screen. And red here, change the blending mode to screen. All right, so as you can see, it doesn't look like there's any colors, but to make you be able to see the colors, we're just gonna take each layer and move the offset just a little bit. As you can see, that revealed the red layer, that revealed the green layer, and there's the blue layer. But we do need this base layer, seeing that these layers are fairly clear, you can still see the base box, so it doesn't look like it's glitching, so we need that base layer in there but then this is what you end up with. Now again, feel free to mess around with, you know, all the settings in here that I did. If you maybe don't want the blocks so wide, you can go back into your black solid here and change the width down. If we wanted it to just be more of a sort of blocky uh, square blocks, you wanted it something more like that. But feel free, and I encourage you to go in, mess with it yourself, come up with new effects ideas, and to, if you want to add this to text, it's literally just the exact same way, I'm just doing it with text, and it's a really cool way to make, you know, intros with text, how to bring text into your, you know, video without it just being, oh, text just randomly appears. So, really cool things, feel free to mess around with it. So that is pretty much it for this week's Fantastic Effects Fridays. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down below, it really does help. And if you have any other video ideas that you'd like to see for Fantastic Effects Fridays, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, I definitely need as many video ideas for this series as I can. But that's pretty much it for this one, and I will see you later.